Hey, Just waiting you. on Candace. Hi guys. Hello. Candace is here. Welcome back to Sewing Agape. I'm Kimberly. This is Candace. We are sisters and we like snacks. And so today we are coming at you with snack crates. Snack crates. We have two of them. Our favorite time of year. Because we have not been on our game. So we have not... And it's late. Yeah. So it's about 11 o'clock at night. And <laughs> We're we got to do two of them. Isn't that great? Also, I'm wearing this hat because it only gets to be in the 30s in Houston about twice a year. Today's one of those days. It's snow. It's snow. This yeah. week. Um, okay. So Kansas is going to open our snack crate. I have no idea what we predicted. Um, oh, it's been a long time. So we have no idea what we predicted. But I remember yeah. last one of the last ones we did was Poland, and that was pretty legit. So I'm hoping something with as many things as we like. So this is October snack crate, right? and it's oh, from October. the <gasps> Philippines. Oh, How fun. Cool. Oh, the look, guys, on the on the moped, the Vespa. These are so cute. So we actually know several Filipino people. So I wonder. We'll have to ask them if these are like. True to the yeah, Philippines. we have friends that go back there pretty regularly too. Okay, so. so let's see. The population is one hundred and three million three hundred. Okay, I have no people. idea. That sounds I, like a lot. That's what it says. That's what I knew the capital was Manila. Yeah. Wow, that's great. And it's only one hundred twenty thousand square miles. So that's like a lot of people. That's, that that's a lot crazy. of people. All right. Fun facts. Philippines are named for King Philip II of Spain, which ruled the islands from fifteen sixty five to eighteen ninety eight. Mm -hmm. At one time in the early 2000s, more text messages were sent in the Philippines than anywhere else in the world. Over 7,400 islands make up the Philippines. And there are oh, there are 171 active languages spoken wow. in the Philippines, but over 52 million Filipinos speak English, the fifth largest population in the world. And the English words boonies and boondocks are actually based on the Filipino Tagalog word for mountain, which is boondock. The word was probably brought back by soldiers stationed in the Philippines during World War II. Interesting. All right, let's get this party all started. Right. So, uh, as y'all know, because we mention all the time, I feel like it comes up a lot when we do this, but we live in Hawaii, so we have been exposed to some Filipino traditions yeah. and, um, and, foods. and foods, and some of them are awesome, and some of them are like blood pudding. And I'm hoping... <gasps> all right. Okay. The first thing I see, I already know I like. So Me that's good. too. <laughs> Guys. All right. Dry mangoes. mangoes. Love them. All oh, right. I'm excited about that. Let's this is going to be great. I can already tell this is going to be a good box. Ooh, I love these so good. If y'all have never had these, run to the store. So they're nice. They're kind of like dried apple. But oh, so sugary and good. Mm. Oh, I need to get my bat, my thing out. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, those are delicious. Mm -hmm. You're ready to read these. I know, but... Ingredients are mango, sugar, and a preservative. Delicious. All right, hold on. Am I on the right page? Oh. All right. Nope, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, dried mangoes. These deliciously sweet dried mangoes are the perfect snack to share with your friends or keep for yourself. And they are so... I can eat a whole bag of those... So quickly. All right. So apparently ubi is a big thing because I already see two things. But here is an oh. ubi, an ubi cake. Or ubi. Um, I think it's ubi. 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 Um, these sweet cakes made from purple yams have a rich, nutty flavor. They are very popular for holidays and celebrations. Nice. Oh. Candace loves the purple, like the poi and stuff. So this is um, feels like angel food cake. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not as big a fan. Uh, kind of just looks like a roll. All right. Yeah. Oh, sweeter than I thought it was going to yeah. be. It tastes like a really, really sweet Hawaiian roll. I think it tastes a lot like angel food cake, actually. But if you slap some cinnamon butter on this, you'd be in heaven. Uh, it's dry. I, yeah, it is dry. I do not taste any purple yam. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't taste earthy or anything like that at all. Ooh, not bad. It's dry, though. I need it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get our dirty diet coke, so... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share a bottle of water. I'm doing water. <laughs> right, now we have the Ubi filled crackers. Oh, okay. Let's try this out. Let's stick what with are they called? Pillows? Um, yes. Pillows. Oh, well, these say these are Choco pillows. Those aren't, those oh, are not those are Choco. Not. These are definitely Ubi. 
There you go. So oh, and they're like look bright like purple. Dry, they look like giant pieces of cereal. Those are surprisingly good. They're sweet in the middle. They kind of taste like life cereal. It took me a while to taste it. Um, I don't like them. I like the texture. Yeah, it's yeah. sweet. Pretty good. Okay. All right, so what, what, what this is is um, chocolate pillows. And this says pillow shaped chocolate crackers filled with semi sweet chocolate. These are so good. And we actually, we definitely got the Ubi or Ube or however we say that. We're sorry. Pillows. I like that they're purple. I thought they were good. Okay. All right, now we have Boy Boong. Cornick. <laughs> I don't really know which one of those things is the actual name. All, All right. right. Okay. I think it's Boy Boong. Okay. A corn snack shaped into crunchy little balls available in a variety of flavors. Seriously addictive. We have adobo flavor. I don't know what that means. I don't either, but I feel like that's something I've definitely heard. Adobo. So oh, like they're like corn nuts. nuts. Here, that's not what I... Mean. Oh, they're definitely easier to eat than corn nuts, though. So. Oh, okay, these are delicious. These are delicious. This tastes like barbecue potato chips, but in corn nut fashion. Oh, these are really good. I have no if idea. If we're ever in the Philippines, I feel like we definitely need. Yeah, those are great. Oh, I like this guy. What is he, an onion? Uh, I don't know, set? <laughs> I'm not sure. I like that guy. What is this? Right. Did I already, I already ring this? I already this. Okay. Right, now we have chippy barbecue flavored chips, I assume. Yep. They look like Fritos on the bag. Let's see. Okay. I get a little aggressive with the. <laughs> oh, okay. It says these barbecue flavored corn chips are ridiculously flavorful. Okay. We can't stop eating them. So these don't look nearly as flavorful as the bag suggests they're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> these That's are true. yellow, these are red. Um, <clears throat> I think it's interesting too. Yeah, you know I mean, I know it says like the fifth largest. It tastes like chili cheese Fritos. They're much more corn tasting. I feel like they need to be way more flavorful. <clears throat> but they make a killer Frito pie. They're not bad, but maybe because the bag is so... <laughs> Vibrant, suggestive of uh, extreme flavor. So I know it said it was the. Um, oh, I'm excited about this. That it, it was the fifth largest speaking English populations, but literally everything is in English. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing mm -hmm. that's not written right. in English. What is that? Un unmarked. Oh no! <laughs> March. Is it this? Thing. You think? Or is that that? I think that's this. I don't know. All right, open it up. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is. What is this? It? Is this? I think. It looks like it's. Oh, okay. A coated, pulvorian, sweet bite-sized short bread cakes made from toasted flour mixed with a variety of flavors, then coated in chocolate. I like that's a lot. I like that description. Oh, I'm not liking your face. It looks like chalky. It's very dusty. <laughs> like, it tastes like a cookies and cream Hershey's bar. Nope. You don't think it so? It tastes like chalk. But the texture is pure chalk. Like you're eating a bunch of roll aids, kind of. <laughs> mm. No. Mm. Okay. It tastes like you took a bite of your protein powder. Oh. Gonna, that you were going to make a chocolate protein shake with. Yeah, that's accurate. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Let's do no, I feel like my teeth are coated in that. Condensata. Okay, no, so wait, those are called... Sky Flakes crackers. <laughs> Sky Flakes crackers. Crispy crackers that come in a variety of flavors, similar in texture to salting crackers. They look just like salting crackers. I feel like they sell this brand of salting crackers here. That's just all in my teeth. Yeah, it's um uh... I literally feel like I just ate protein powder. Oh. With probably none of the health benefits. So I had a little piece, I cheated. What is it supposed to taste like? So I think it's condensed milk flavored crackers. Interesting. So eat it. Not a move. Pulled a Candace. Um, Candace. It's got like a super sweet coating on it. Um, but then it's a salty dry cracker on the inside. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, no. like, it's weird. It's not prime. Everyone's prime. 
She wants some snack, right? I think it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's super weird. Yeah, but. Okay. <laughs> All right, oh, way more flavorful than those corn chips. Next we have another unmarked candy. They, they play it fast and loose over there. All right, what's this? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, maybe Choco Nut? Oh, Open it up. Too. I feel like it's gonna be another one of those like powdery things. things and I'm not stoked about it. If it's a Choco Nut, it's a delicious combination of coconut milk, peanuts, and milk chocolate. This candy is wildly popular in the Philippines. Oh God, look, she likes, okay, it feels like chalk. It feels like you can go to a chalkboard. Oh. oh. No, I nibbled after that. That actually tastes like you're eating chalk. So I cheated and Candace oh. like went in for it. Oh, it's all in my mouth. And I took oh. a tiny nibble, but this is so chalk-like. Like, like it, it's, it's like just eating a giant tongue, like an unflavored tongue. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. I just had the tiniest nibble after you. I literally just got the one like I was eating medicine and then I almost mm. puked. So then no. there's that. I mean, the, both of those, that and that other thing, literally just scoop of protein yeah. powder. Yeah. Um, all right, now we have... Oh, oh, oh here's one of those things. We have more of the Sky Flakes that do come in the variety. Of oh, so we have two more flavors to try. We have, looks like chocolate, chocolate flavor. and maybe original. Yeah. So the first one we had, I think, really was condensed milk. So let's I try. I think you're knocking into that. Sorry. It's weird, because, like, here, we do not put anything sweet on salty crackers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't... Maybe we're doing something wrong. Maybe. I didn't oh, hate wait. it. Oh, I think you're supposed to eat it all together. Well, now I feel stupid. Oh, well, what's the other one look like? Yeah, look, because there's layers of chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just definitely so, ripped it apart. Well, I'm sorry. We need to probably try that again. I don't know. I, I thought know. it was pretty good as it was. Man, you're, even after that last chalky bit, <laughs> you like commit. Oh, boy. It tastes like Dunkaroos. But the chocolate mm -hmm. ones, but drier. It'd be better. They, they must sell a lot of beverages in the Philippines because um, <laughs> everything's very dry. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. Um, it's not bad, but the salting cracker is just not salted. I think it'd be better if it was salted. It would taste, make the chocolate taste better. Yeah. Not yeah. salted and just chocolate on it. Like, yeah. So this one, I think we think is original flavor. <laughs> Everybody's okay. got a star spot this week. <laughs> Acting a fool. That one was. Whew! It actually gets worse after you swallow it. Yeah, it, uh, okay. My mouth is just cut, it's like the layers of coating. I'm gonna just eat the small pieces. I think these are not layered. I think these you can just eat. Oh. I don't see a layer. Mmm. Excuse me. Those are salting crackers. <laughs> Without salt, though, I mean, like <laughs> that's all those are. You buy the unsalted salty crackers. That's what you got here. Oh, here's the choco nuts. Choco nuts are not what we have. So what oh. was the thing we ate earlier? Maybe it was another coated pulverone. It was a totally different package. But they both have the same My texture. Shirt. All right, so these are the choco nuts. These are the coconut. Okay, so excuse us, choco nut. We don't know if we like you yet. But this is a delicious combination of cocoa, <laughs> coconut milk, peanuts. And milk, this also feels like it's gonna be <laughs> super chalky. I'm glad you take the first bite. I'm gonna oh. go off your reaction. Go. <laughs> this candy is wildly popular. So just holding it in my hand, it like chalkily broke apart. That one's not as bad. No, it's it has much more flavor, mm -hmm. but it's literally that same texture where it just like goes if mouth. you like took a spoonful of baby powder and tried to eat it. <laughs> That's what it feels like in your mouth. Like it gets pasty. Mm -hmm. okay, so we it gets, those. like I just, the texture I cannot. All right, I cannot. now we have chocolate pretzels. Hey, I like the box. I like the packaging. Yeah, these are cute. Crisp bite-sized pretzels covered with rich chocolate. Also all this chocolate, none of it tastes like milk chocolate, right? Mm. Like it's all very, um, almost bitter. All right, here you go. These look good. Yeah, these do look, they're cute. I like them a lot. Hmm. I like it. It's a chocolate covered pretzel. Once again, I need a beverage. Oh. <laughs> you really should have brought it. I should have, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
don't really have a one. They're, they're good, but. This is a big box, too. We'll yeah. show you a comparison. Come here, we got two more things to try. Next thing we have is Ding Dong Snack Mix. Okay. So this is a savory mix of peanuts, corn bits, green peas, corn chips, and curls. I wonder what curls this are. sounds like an avid love because I love those like. So here we go in my hand. Oh, just spill that on the table. Here you go. This looks like hamster food mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> it actually does, but we're gonna go with it. Delightful. So apparently, mm -hmm. I like Filipino salty snacks more than I like their sweet snacks. Because I would agree to that. Yeah. These kind of taste like those trail mix that you can get at like the gas station, but like better. It's very salty. It's very. I appreciate that all of their things that are like corn based are the opposite of corn nuts and don't make you like your jaw hurt. Right. But they taste the same. These are good. All right. Okay. One last thing. We got Exo Classic Coffee Candy. Oh, okay. All right. Get your caffeine buzz on the run with these aromatic, ugh, I'm almost scared by that word, <laughs> sweet coffee flavored candies. So they really have caffeine. Mm. Smell cool. just like a Starbucks. Mmm. And tastes like tiramisu. Cause it's not bitter coffee. It's mm -hmm. like sweet coffee. It's good. It's very good. It's as mm. if like a Werther's original oh, made of yeah. coffee. It's the same. Mm. This is really good. I couldn't see me having these in my mouth all the time if I were. Yeah. All right, so my favorites were the mangoes, the ding dongs. Where's those? Oh, and no. the ubi, ubi cake? Oh, no. No, no these. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like these adobo flavored. <laughs> those are very good. All right, so. Yeah, I mean. It was like, you overall, know what the nice thing is I'd only tried one of those foods before, so that was exciting. Like, there was that was, yes, one all of this is very before. new. Yeah. I feel like if I got any one of these snacks at a, a store in the Philippines, I would totally eat it. Um, the, I would definitely need a drink. <laughs> this little nugget. That, <laughs> y'all, if you know what that is, please, yeah, so we that we know. Because so we won't buy it again. We actually do want to go to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We're interested. But yes, the mangoes all day, every day. I would eat... And they're expensive here, like for what it is, you know, especially this brand, the Philippine yeah. brand. Um, this is delightful. Yeah, it is. It's okay. very good. Um, so yeah. overall, I mean, it was exciting having all this new food. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd say based on this, yeah, we'll go visit the Philippines. <laughs> sure, send us money. We'll go. <laughs> all right. So I'll right. see y'all next time for another show. Yes, guys. Like this video, subscribe below. You can see more of our shenanigans and how we feel about snacks from around the world. And stay tuned because we're filming another one. All right. Bye, guys.